Hey guys, I'm back in one of my favorite places in the whole world, Catalina Island, and I have my new iPhone 15 Pro. And the first thing I can think to do with it is to uh, go right into the ocean with it. Now, whether you do scuba diving or snorkeling or any extreme sports, I think I found the perfect housing. Can't wait to show it to you. So here it is, the Dive Volk housing. What makes this particular housing different than others on the market is that this housing is the only one that gives you full touchscreen access to your phone, even at depths of up to 196 feet, or 30 meters for everyone else in the world. To use the housing with your phone, place it into the molded tray, then slide it into the open end of the unit. Once the phone is in place, close the door to create the seal and tighten the thumb screws. We're here at Casino Point at Catalina Island. I'm with my dive buddy, Joe, who's going to be my underwater model, and he's going to do some B camera for me. And it's really important, whenever you go diving, always dive with a buddy. I have my phone, and I have it attached to a lanyard because I'm super paranoid of losing my phone underwater. I can rig this thing to my BC. Not worry about losing my phone. All right, let's go diving. So uh, I didn't expect uh, the long dive queue getting into the dive site. We're in California, so I expect it to exactly be like the freeway system. So the key feature of this housing is a liquid-filled membrane that accomplishes two things. First, liquid is incompressible, so the membrane will not squeeze in on your phone the deeper you go, which of course would make the operation of the phone impossible. Second, even with the liquid buffer, the membrane is still thin enough to respond to touching and swiping. This means that you can use whatever camera app that you want. Apple's native camera app, Blackmagic Cam, Filmic Pro, for that matter, you can use any app that's on your phone. Here's the Apple Compass. I like to use the Apple Notes app as an underwater shot list. For these first shots, I'm recording in 4K30 HDR in the HEVC codec. Because this is the iPhone 15 Pro, I now have the ability to shoot in 10-bit ProRes in Apple Log. Here's the same shot after applying a LUT in Final Cut Pro. You can also purchase a red filter that can be placed over the lens that will filter out the blue wavelengths, making your shots go from this to this. With or without a red filter, I still recommend that you bring a neutral gray slate that you can record at the start of your shot to achieve proper white balance in post. I also like to shoot in 4K60 because the higher frame rate allows me to get buttery smooth slow motion when placing the clip into a 30p timeline in Final Cut Pro and auto-conforming it. During the dive, we came across a 300-pound black sea bass just lurking in the kelp forest. Changing the cameras is also really easy with this housing. After a while, he got bored with us and decided to move along. After sundown, we headed back into the water for a night dive. The visibility underwater is limited to the reach of our dive lights, so we had to rely on our compass for orientation. Using the compass heading provided by the park map, Joe was able to locate a plaque dedicated to Jacques Cousteau, the father of scuba diving. As we were reading the plaque, we looked up and noticed a playful harbor seal watching our every move. He was curious enough, but kept his distance. At night, many creatures come out to feed that you normally would not see during the day, particularly the West Coast spiny lobster. I need to mention that underwater photography or video can easily get you distracted, which is why it's important to frequently check your air and your dive computer so that you don't run into a situation that puts you in danger. Getting the shot is not worth putting your life at risk. And of course, I can't finish this video without the answer to a burning question I have. Can this housing receive phone calls? Hello? Hey, it's my mom. So now hopefully you've learned everything you need to know about taking your iPhone underwater. Thanks for watching, leave us a sub, and we'll see you next time.